what up dudes? I haven't been vlogging because I've been doing a lot of crystal work. So if you didn't know, I'm a crystal dealer. I sell shiny rocks. <laughs> I make necklaces, I make this kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. I like making crafty things. Because I haven't been vlogging, I've been busy doing this, making some money. I wanted to show you the whole process, because why not? Why not just show you what I do throughout the day? Because uh, today is another crystal day. I've been doing it for a few days now. So I had another batch delivered today. I'm gonna show you what I got. Nice. Yes. Wow. These are huge. These are just like pink and blue quartz. I believe that it's like a chemical process that they do in a lab to make it this color. Like the quartz itself is natural and then they do this to make it a different color. I think it's super cool. Like I don't know much about it, about the properties or what it can do. It probably just has the same properties as regular quartz, but I, I think just aesthetically, the pink and blue is amazing. Like I'm kind of experimenting a bit with my, my inventory, just seeing what people are into. And these have been doing really well, like the big ones have been doing really well. So, so all I do really at the beginning is I just, I do a quality check. So these have come from the UK, they took about a week and a half to get here. So I'll just inspect each one and make sure that they're all good. This is some citrine, it's all looking good. These are all double pointed. These are all pre-drilled, so I don't have to drill these ones, but I will be doing some drilling today just to show you like, the process and what I actually get up to. Sorry if it's really noisy outside, I'm burning some incense so my window's open. Nothing I could do really. So here's my desk. This is where I get all the, all the rocks and lay them out. So they're out here hanging out with me. These are just my personal ones. I like, I've got so much stuff along here. Uh, like all kinds of things that, yeah, I don't know. These are just, whew, it's all my personal stuff. <laughs> stuff that I don't think I'll ever turn into necklaces. These are all necklaces I've already made. Got all kinds of things along here. Mostly just pink and blue quartz. And then this is all the malachite that I'm drilling. So I've already drilled all of these. They're not very neat at the moment because I, I knocked them. But these are all drilled already, so. So what I do is I use a diamond drill bit and a rotary tool, and I find the best position for the cord to sit. So it's gonna be sitting like, like that on the person. So I drill through that side very carefully and I drill through the other side. It's a fun process, I'll show you how I do it. But I do that, it takes about 15, 20 minutes per piece. Sometimes there's accidents, like this one here split completely in half when I was drilling it. This one here is split at the top, but I can glue that and fix it. But for the most part, they're always, they're always fine. I'm obsessed with malachite. Like I've got this, uh, this malachite turtle here that my sister gave me, really nice. So I'm just gonna quality check all these pieces real quick. Make sure they're good before I, before I list them in the store. I source all my stuff from the UK and from Spain. So nothing takes too long to arrive, which is useful because unless you've got loads of money you're running an online shop, it's hard to just buy a lot of stock. You need to sell and then buy, sell and buy. So I keep reinvesting the money I make. Obviously huge companies, they just buy thousands and thousands of pounds worth of things and then sell it all. But for me, I have to buy a few hundred pounds worth of things, sell it, and then immediately buy more. So there's like a there's like a space in between where I'm packaging things and waiting for new stuff to arrive. So at the moment, I've got about 20 orders to package today. Um, so I'll show you the process and what I do. Anyone that's interested in running their own shop, this might be a useful video for you, but I think for anybody else that's just curious what I get up to, this is what I spend most of my time doing. About half my week goes into this, and then the other half of my week goes into YouTube. I enjoy both of these jobs equally, but this one pays more, so I have to focus this one. I have to prioritize the store, always. So if I'm offline, or if I'm not posting it very often, it's because I'm doing this. So I think this is an important video just to show you what exactly it takes to run a shop. And obviously because of the pandemic, it's a very good thing that I have this job, because if I had a regular job, I'd be screwed. I'd be out of work, I wouldn't have any money. Thankfully, I invested in myself, and it paid off. And I recommend anyone out there to give it a go, just try and sell something, you don't need an audience. You can obviously buy Facebook ads. Um, if you've got a good product, I mean, word of mouth will be enough to help you sell it. I use word of mouth, I use Instagram, I use YouTube, I use anything I can online to help me sell things. I found that a lot of people buy multiple things, like different drops, they'll come back and buy more stuff. Like, if the product's good, people won't want more of it, so I just try to make the best things I can. And keep changing what I have, so it's not always the same. I also got a bunch of stickers, mushroom stickers, because I used to write, up until about two weeks ago, I've been writing thank you notes, like handwritten thank you notes, for anybody that ordered. Um, and it would take me days, because it's, you have to think of words to say, you have to like, find the inspiration to say things. So because it was taking me so much time, I was basically losing time. I was losing money, losing work potential. Like I want to scale the shop up, and the only way to do that is to stop writing thank you notes. 
Like it's a very personal and nice thing to do, but it was just taking too much time. And I think people will understand, like people never asked me to write thank you notes, I was just doing it because it's a nice thing to do. It's a little surprise if you look at the package, it's like, ah, oh, he actually cares. So yeah, anyway, I still care, <laughs> but I'm trying to scale the shop up and speed things up a bit. I've ordered a bunch of these mushroom stickers. They're really cool, they're all, all unique. I'll, I'll bring you closer and show you. So I just throw some mushroom stickers in there with the orders and I know it's not as cool as like a little thank you note, but stickers, everyone loves stickers. So you can't really go wrong when you give people free stickers. Wow, this excites me so much. Look at all these mushroom stickers. Wow. They're really fun. There's some nice ones in there. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. These are all the pink and blue quartz. They're all great. I quality check them, they're all fine. This is all the citrine. It's all good. And the longer pieces, all good. Okay, next step, I've got to print out orders from this week. So I boot up my laptop. So you see here where it says unfulfilled, I basically just got to print out all of these. So I'll do unfulfilled. All right, that's everything. So from Friday up until now, 30 orders, okay. Now I'll just wait for a couple minutes until it's all done. <laughs> and then we'll move on to the next step. Now I just have to press the fulfill button. Just send an email to everybody telling them that their thing's being packaged. And they should expect it soon. Next step is we, do, we start packaging. This one's pretty easy. I need one of these little pack, packing slip. One of these to put the address in so it keeps it dry. This is for Michael. He asked for one citrine double pointed. I follow a lot of different people online that have shops and I've never seen any of them show like the whole process of what they get up to. Like maybe you shouldn't show all this, but I think it's really interesting. I think it's interesting to see what people do with their time. And obviously I'm, I'm very open and candid with the internet. Like I don't like to hide anything. Like, I like you guys to know what's up, what I get up to. But there's a ton of you out there that aren't making any money right now and want to find a way. And I just want you to know that there are ways. Like I've, I've come from nothing. I literally had nothing a few years ago and now I have everything that I've built. I've ha I have a house. Like how crazy is that? Who'd have thought I'd be able to even pull this off? I definitely didn't think I could pull this off, <laughs> but I was persistent. I just have to keep pushing, you know? Like I don't, I don't answer to anyone. I, I don't rely on brand deals. I'm just me. I'm a lone agent, lone wolf, just grinding. That's all, that's all it takes. Like I'm not, I'm just humbly surviving. <laughs> all I do is throw it through the hole, pinch it in my fingers, then I pull it to about my elbow. I'm doing that. Can you see that on the camera? It's the length of my fingers pinched here and then my elbow. If it's wrapped around someone's neck, it'll dangle to here. Then they have the option to adjust it as high or as low as they want. Any lower and it's quite unnecessary. Like here, around the heart, around the chest is like a good height. You get the idea. I make a little knot to make sure it hangs correctly. And there you go. Perfect. Am I even in focus or is my mango in focus? I can't tell. They've been drilling downstairs for the past two weeks. It always wakes me up. It's really frustrating. But hey, what can I what can I do? Get a couple of mushroom stickers, throw them in there. Or you, Michael. This is going to Australia. Wow. See, I, I have quite a few followers in Australia. This week I actually shipped one to Japan. I did not know I had any followers in Japan. The entire address was Japanese. So I had to translate it for the customs form. Very cool. Uh, if you're if you're out there and you're Japanese, what's up? Konnichiwa. There you go. That one's done. That's for you, Michael. And now just gotta take it to the post office and do the thing. All right. Next. So this is my rotary tool. It's got a, dr a diamond drill bit because diamond is the only thing strong enough to go through these rocks. You need water because the drill gets really hot. Oh, the drill bit gets really hot inside. And when you're holding the crystal, you can feel the crystal heating up. So you don't want it to be hot because it melts the diamond off of the drill. So I'm just making the entry hole. I have to go in sideways to, to use it. There's no diamonds on the end. The diamonds are on the side, so... Make the entry hole. And slowly turn it so you can get the drill to go inside. Okay, so the next thing I've got to do is take some nice photographs to put on the store. Some of these are so pretty I don't want to sell them, I want to keep them. <laughs> but if I did that, I would never make any money. I'm also taking some videos because they're really good for promotion. Like, 
do a short video on Instagram just showing like a 360 view of the nicest looking ones. Done. And that's it, that's basically everything. I've got to upload these pictures now to the store and then promote it on Instagram, promote it on my fractals Instagram. And that's it, that's basically what I do. I have to turn all those into necklaces now, so that'll take me probably the rest of the day. Uh, I've got to package all these, that's the first thing I've got to do. It keeps me busy, it's a fun hobby, but also it's my income. If you're watching this video and you're, you're ever interested in like what I'm making, because I'm always making different things. I'm either making necklaces or tie-dye pants. It just depends what I'm in the mood for. Uh, summer's coming, so I'm probably going to get the tie-dye thing going on again. I might hire some people this time, so I have, I'm have i able to make more. But for the most part, I do all this alone. I really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's something to do, you know? I don't have to work for anyone else. I get to do it from my house. I get to work my own hours. I think there's just a lot of love and personality, and I think it's good to support people that are working for themselves. Yeah, thank you to everyone that has ever bought anything from my store. I've made thousands of sales over the years and it's just nice to know that people care enough to buy something from me out of all the places that you can buy things. Like if you've ever wanted to throw money at me, I don't like asking for donations, so that's why I like to sell things. I like to I like to give you something back. If you, if you ever want to check out my store, it's just v3i.com. Very easy, very easy to find. Very easy to remember. Yeah, just go check it. Like, doesn't matter when you're watching this video, go check it out. There's probably something on there that you might find interesting. Thank you for watching. This has been a day in the life of what I do as a self-employed bean. Yeah, everything I've ever achieved and built is thanks to the shop because YouTube stopped paying me. So I had to find another way to survive. This is going on my second channel. Luckily, the second channel pays a little bit. All the money that I'm earning, I put back into my content. So I'm currently saving up to buy a PC so that I can start Twitch streaming. I'd like to Twitch stream during the day and then work on the shop during the night. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm building, but it'll take time. If you want to see me on Twitch, help me get there because I don't have the money for a PC yet. I'm sure I'll find other ways to make money, but at the moment, this is, this is, what, this is what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing and I'm enjoying it. Store link is down below. If you don't feel like t typing out v3i.com. Yeah, now you know everything that I get up to. So you've seen the whole process. If you want to support, go buy something from the shop. All right, bye.